This video is sponsored by DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform to develop data science and analytics skills for both students and businesses. Now you guys might be thinking, data science? Analytics skills? What do I need that for? No matter what industry you're in, learning how to analyze and understand your data is critical. Let's take me for example. As a student nurse and aspiring doctor, I'm always dealing with different kinds of data at school and in healthcare settings. Medical related courses deal with data in order to gain insights and help with decision making, which plays a huge role in overall patient care. So DataCamp can help me learn how to use different programs to my advantage so I can advance my skills in this area. You can learn new skills super quick with more than 300 courses that combine both short expert videos with the immediate hands-on keyboard exercise exercises with the help of instructors from top performing schools and universities. DataCamp subscription starts at $25 a month with unlimited access to their courses. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and click the link below, sign up, and you can even view the first few chapters of each course for free. Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. I am back and better than ever, guys. I'm so sorry. I've been inactive for about two weeks now. That's because so many things have been going on. I had my birthday recently. I'm now 20 years old. I'm old. I know. I got featured on Candy Magazine, so that was amazing. And school has been super busy. I'm currently having my exams this week, so I've just been super busy. So today, I'm going to make it up to you guys by giving you guys a highly requested video, which is an online class Q&A. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what you guys want to know about being a student nurse online or just a student online in general. So that's what I'm going to be answering today. And of course, we have to have our little mukbang moment right here. So we got some we got some healthy stuff. And also, very special thanks to Marielle's for sending over their amazing red velvet crinkles and cupcakes as well. Guys, Marielle's is our go-to place for like catering whenever we have parties. We always order their stuff. They are so amazing, especially their pastries because they make so many things like crinkles, cookies, red velvet crinkles, cupcakes, brownies, you name it. I'm personally loving the red velvet crinkles with cream cheese inside. That is my current favorite right now. So thank you so much, Marielle's. And if you guys want to check them out, then I'm going to link their Facebook page down below. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So you guys may see that I have some balloons back here. It's because I don't want my birthday decorations to go to waste. So you know what? They're pastel. They're cute. So I'm going to let them stay there. And let's go ahead and open up some chips. So I'm going to go with these. Ooh. Ooh, okay. First question. Okay. What's your favorite third year nursing subject? I would have to say my favorite nursing subject for third year so far would be medical surgical nursing RLE. So that's our skills lab because I feel like we learn a lot there. I mean, we learn a lot from a lot of our subjects, but for that subject in particular, we're doing a bunch of activities and we have a lot of group work, which I personally enjoy. That's where we do a lot of our role playing as well. And we turn in a bunch of videos of us doing procedures. And if you guys saw from my other vlog, we did our return demonstration in front of our teachers during a Zoom call. So a lot of exciting stuff happens during that class. So, so far that is what I'm enjoying. How do your professors teach lab lessons? Do they have online lab classrooms for that? Like I said, we always have Zoom meetings for all of our subjects. The only time where we have like recorded lectures is for lectures and not for skills lab classes. So we just have regular Zoom meetings for our lab classes. And also we're not having face-to-face -face classes. So we're not able to be with our teachers or actually go to a lab and perform things physically. We have online return demonstrations. We have role playing, we have assignments. So. It's kind of like lectures as well, but we do a lot of activities other than like memorizing, having quizzes, recitations, and all of that. We do a lot of games like you saw in my very first day of school vlog. We have Kahoot and our lab teachers try their best to kind of make the most out of it. They show us a lot of videos as well so we can kind of get an idea of how things are done in an actual healthcare setting because we're not able to have clinical rotations. So they're really trying their best and we're adjusting to it pretty well, I think.
All right, do you find your iPad useful for online classes? Of course, I use my iPad all the time, along with my Apple Pencil, which I just recently purchased. It is super helpful, especially for me because I'm just starting digital note taking. It's super compact and I can access all of my notes anytime I want and it's super easy with just a single tap. I have everything right in the palm of my hand. So I do really suggest iPads, but like I always say, if you're going to purchase a gadget for the first time and you're choosing between a tablet and a laptop, I would go for a laptop first because it caters to most of your needs for online school especially. But I personally love using my iPad. Hello, how do you study after your lectures and how do you memorize information? I made an effective study tips video and that is how I've been studying ever since I started high school, I think. So I will link that down below. How do you manage your time? I have a hard time managing my time. It's just so hard because we have online classes for like most of the day. We literally have an eight or nine hour class and that just lasts until the evening and then it's really hard because I still have chores and then we have family dinners and of course like you bond with your family you talk a little bit you want to rest but then you also have a lot of assignments to turn in so it's really hard to find that balance I'm personally trying my best here I'm not gonna lie I have had some breakdowns already it's because like Staring at a screen gives me a headache and then sometimes like my back hurts and then like my head hurts and it just gets overwhelming sometimes and you want to rest but you can't because there are time limits especially on your online school platforms. There are only certain times when things can be open, when things can be accessed, when things can be turned in and so you have to meet that time limit and it's just so much pressure. It's not impossible to manage your time but it's very very hard and I'm trying to figure that out for myself. Hardest online class as a nursing student. So far, I think my hardest online class would be medical surgical nursing lecture because there are just so many topics to cover and that is the only class where we're having like consistent asynchronous learning. So we only have recorded lectures. We're learning by ourselves because we have the lectures and then the next meeting would be a quiz right away. And personally, I'm still trying to adjust to that kind of learning. But we have covered so many topics already and we just had the exam yesterday and exams are super hard because it's all application. You're barely gonna find like, oh, what's the value of this? Or something that you'll easily memorize or information that you'll just see on your reviewer. It's really like understanding what you're learning and trying to apply that in situational questions. It's super challenging. Oh, I almost forgot another super, super hard subject this year. Research, hands down. Like, first week pa lang, we already had to figure out research topics and like objectives and all of that, chapter one. And my group is having a tough time right now, but you know what, we're gonna get through it. Hopefully I'm praying. We're having a really tough time with research right now. So yeah, just look out for research and be ready. Hi Ate, how do you study if the teacher says that we will mostly have self-study? Well, you just do it as if you were studying for a regular class. Like if we have recorded lectures, We'll watch the lecture, we'll take down notes, and then we'll review it. My friends and I tried to Zoom to watch the recorded lectures together, but sometimes it's just not that effective because we end up talking or playing Among Us or PUBG, but it does work sometimes. Auto auto po ba kayo merong online class sa lahat po ba ng subject every day? Let's just say that during the week, there are no days where we won't have a Zoom meeting. We will have a Zoom meeting at least once every day. I'm just gonna pop in my schedule here, let you look at that while I eat. Which one's harder, online school or the traditional way? Both have their pros and cons. Traditional school is super hard as well, but I feel like online classes are just like a wee bit more challenging lately because of course we're all still adjusting. And especially for medical related courses, it's just really hard. It can be very frustrating sometimes, especially with like internet connections and the time pressure and the online school platforms crash sometimes. And it's just super frustrating at times and I feel like everyone has their own struggles when it comes to online classes. So I'm gonna say for now, online classes are definitely leaning more towards the more challenging side because I guess we're just not used to it and we're all still adjusting. Students, teachers, faculty, staff, we're all still adjusting. So, so far, I think this is a very challenging experience.
Which is more tiring and draining, face-to-face -face or online learning? Online learning hands down because we're just here by ourselves. We're basically homeschooled. So we're here by ourselves with our family. We're just stuck here. Unlike face-to-face -face where even if it's hard, even if the classes are challenging and we're loaded with lots of things to do, we still have those little moments, you know, just those little moments that we never thought were big deals like break time with your friends, going out for lunch, or going to the cafeteria, getting your regular meal that you buy every single day. I definitely miss those moments. And you know what? I I would give anything to go back to face-to-face -face classes and be with my friends every single day again because it's really hard to be here by yourself, trying to learn everything by yourself, handling everything by yourself, and just adjusting to this new kind of setup. It's really hard. Not to mention, just like, being in front of a device all day, it's just, uh, it gives me migraines. What do you do when your head aches after looking at the screen for long hours? I sleep. I also use my anti-radiation glasses to help with the eye strain and headaches. They really, really help. And also, if you haven't seen my top 10 online classes essentials, then I will link that down below because you guys might get something out of that. Okay lang ba ate kahit cellphone lang ang meron ka sa online class? Of course, like I always say, you should never feel pressured to have to buy new things, nice things, more expensive things. It's okay to use what you have available to you right now if that's your only choice. And there are people who do actually do that. So. It's doable even though it is challenging. But I'm just not sure. I'm not sure about every single kind of school if they require you to have a tablet or a laptop. It depends on them. Have you already experienced being embarrassed during online classes? Yes. If you guys haven't seen my last vlog, the powder incident, that was the most embarrassing thing ever and I hope that never happens again. Ooh, perfect. The next question is about that vlog. So it's about the return demo thingy. Was that on the spot or did you take a video? That was on the spot. That was in front of my teacher, live, a Zoom meeting. It was on the spot. Paano mo na survive ang nursing type online classes lang ate? I think it's just the fact that I know that I'm not alone. I'm not the only person adjusting to this kind of setup. And also because I'm classmates with my best friends and we're still able to bond together through this kind of setup. We're able to Zoom, study together, and just having a lot of people that are experiencing the same thing as you makes you feel less lonely and a little bit more motivated. So yeah, that's how I survive. Ate, how to be mentally prepared for online classes? I don't think that anyone was mentally, physically, or emotionally prepared for this kind of setup. It is very hard, it was very unexpected, but just rest. Just like take a break, take a brain break, you know, don't use your devices for a while because once you start online classes, you're gonna be using your phone every single day. Mahirap po ba mag-adjust from face-to-face -face class to online class? It's hard, but it's doable and we're all in this together. Once we know that you are, we're all stars and we see that. Disadvantage ng online class sa mga majors, lala na sa rep them or time ng RLE class. Biggest disadvantage is just not being able to do procedures physically. Like you just have to literally DIY whatever you have here just to make it work. Unlike when you're in face-to-face -face classes, there's laboratories, there's actual like patient dolls, there's tools that you can use, and your professors and clinical instructors are right there to like guide you or teach you if you're doing something wrong. So that's something we're not able to have right now because we're only doing things through Zoom. So yeah, that's a big disadvantage. Can you give us your tips on how to prepare ourselves in exams, quizzes, and assignments online? Well, of course, to prepare for quizzes, tests, and assignments, it's just the same thing. But what I would say, for online, you definitely don't wait until the last minute. Like, if you think you still have time before the deadline, don't procrastinate. Don't wait for that last minute. Just turn it in right away because you don't know when the internet's gonna go out. You don't know when the online platform is gonna crash. Just, if you can turn it in, if you can do it right away, just do it. Just do it right away. I'm telling you right now, from experience, just do it. Some tips in writing notes. My main tip, keywords. Just write the keywords and also, Share notes with your friends because that really helps. Tips po pag nago online rep them. Don't put powder in your gloves. I, pro I promise it's not worth it. Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. My biggest tip for doing rep thems online, I really suggest writing a script and memorizing that script as well. But don't just memorize 
also understand like the flow of it so even if you stumble on your words you still know where you're at in terms of the procedure so you won't get lost so write a script and practice that script so if for example on your book step number one is to introduce yourself to the patient then your script should be good morning ma'am my name is Ellie I will be your student nurse for today something like that and just do that for every single step, make a script, memorize it, understand the flow, and you'll be good to go. Tips po para sa kinakabahan sa online class. You're not alone, and if ever there's an emergency, or you feel nauseous, or you feel like you're overwhelmed, you can always just turn off your camera real quick and take a quick breather, because that's what I do. Do you read your notes in advance like one week before the quiz? And how to maintain that study habit? I don't, I don't. I always study the day before, which is a really bad habit. I shouldn't do that because that is cramming, that it's also procrastination. So I really need to figure that out for myself. Buong class hours ba kayo naka on cam or pag may recitations lang? We are required to have our cameras on during the whole class, but of course sometimes we have to turn it off to like go to the bathroom or we want to grab a snack real quick or some of us just want to like lay back just a little bit because our backs hurt. But our professors do require us to have our cameras on during the whole class. Fast and enjoyable things to do during break time. Fast and enjoyable, definitely TikTok. But sometimes I do like lay down for a bit or my friends and I play PUBG or Among Us. Sometimes I go downstairs and grab a quick snack because like our break times just like fly by literally because the time is so fast. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know why time does that. Best way to focus during discussions. The best way to focus during online discussions, let me tell you, is to literally set up your camera to be like straight like seeing your face, this half of your body and everything so you know that the teacher sees you and so you're kind of like forced to pay attention. That's what I do sometimes when there's like a serious discussion going on and I really have to listen. I like tilt my camera to be like straight right at my body so I'm literally like one by one picture, you know what I mean? That's what I'm like. And that is how you focus during online discussions. Things you love about online classes. One is being able to learn here in the comfort of my own home being with my family all the time, and also being able to learn at my own pace. How do you stay away from distractions? I just stay here in my room. How many subjects do you have per day? Usually about two. How do you approach your teacher if you want to answer voluntarily? We either say, ma'am, puede po itray, like we're gonna try to answer the question, or we say, ma'am, Eli po, we say our name and then they'll let us answer, or we can use the feature on Zoom where we can click the button that says raise hand and then our teacher will be able to see that. How do you take notes while synchronous classes are ongoing? Our teachers give us handouts or they give us their PowerPoints, so I just usually write on them right away on my iPad, or I transcribe it myself so I can like kind of have a word file, PDF file that are just easier to read and easier to use. All right, my camera died and I'm back and I'm done eating chips. I'm so full right now. And I just realized that my hair has been messy this whole time, but you know what? I'm not gonna refilm anything. We're just gonna keep going. So, are online classes bearable for freshies and nursing ate? Definitely, it's definitely bearable because it's bearable for third year nursing students like me. It's bearable for fourth year, fourth. It's, be it's bearable for fourth year nurses, graduating nursing students. So yeah, I guess it's bearable for every nursing year level. Do you have a backup Wi-Fi? Yes, I actually have a pocket Wi-Fi that I've been using ever since senior high school. And I'm not using it for online classes now because sometimes pocket Wi-Fis can be kind of tricky as well. So I just try to stick with the Wi-Fi that we have here at home. Essentials. I did already make a top 10. Is it top 10? I made an essentials video for online classes. Classes, so if you want to check that out, I will link it down below. You have recitation even though online class, of course we have recitation. I mean, what else are we supposed to do? Because we're already there, we're already on a Zoom call, we have our cameras on, and there's a microphone option. So our professors might as well get us to, you know, engage a little bit throughout the discussion. So of course we're going to have recitations, we have reportings, we have role playing, we have a lot of activities that require us to speak and actually participate because it wouldn't be an online class. It wouldn't be a synchronous class if we didn't do anything ourselves. Because if our teacher didn't want us to do anything or say anything, then they would have just recorded a lecture for us to watch on our own time. But when we have synchronous classes, we do a lot of activities, we do a lot of participation, a lot of recitations, and you know what? It's fine because 
It's the same thing that we would do if we had face-to-face -face classes. What are your tips po para sa mga first time makapag online class? I think almost all of us are, you know, first timers when it comes to this. Not if you're like homeschooled or anything, then you guys are probably used to it. But I think the main thing that I can say or the biggest tip that I have for first timers would be to always be prepared for whatever happens and to always screenshot that's that's one thing because i don't know about other schools but my school requires us to like screenshot whenever there's an error if our moodle or online platform crash or anything if we're disconnected we have to screenshot because that will serve as our proof so you know they are not thinking that oh they're just making excuses they're just making that up so always make sure to screenshot because i had to do that whenever my moodle crashed and when we had to take a quiz and that was really scary. I made sure to screenshot like every bit of it so they know that I'm not making it up and so that there won't be any problems. So always be ready and always screenshot. Yeah, always prepare your evidence. Do you think I should still pursue nursing in this kind of situation? You know what? This pandemic should not hinder us from achieving our goals, people. It should not hinder us from achieving our goals. We have to find a way. If you have the opportunity to pursue a course that you want to pursue, if you have that opportunity, if you have that choice, then grab it, you know? Just grab it because we don't know how long this pandemic is gonna last. You can't wait. You can't wait for things to happen. You can't wait for this pandemic to be over. If you want something to be done, you have to find a way. For example, for myself, I thought my YouTube would be over because I was like, you know, I can't vlog anymore. What am I gonna do? The house is so boring. I'm not gonna be able to reach my goal of 30,000, 50,000, which I'm super close by the way. I still did it. I was like, you know what? I still I have to create content. I have to make something. I have to do something so I can reach that goal despite not being able to go out. And that's what I did. And that's how I'm slowly achieving my goals. And it's, it's really funny because I feel like I've achieved more during this pandemic than I have within the last how many years of being in school, to be honest. The Doritos are gone. <laughs> so, before I end this video, I saved this for the last, but it is the Red Velvet Crinkles from Marielle's. It's my favorite. It's dessert. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Oof. Mm. Anyways, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you to everyone who submitted all of their questions. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media right here. I'm Ellie. Don't forget to keep it simple. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.